January, Universal Century, year 0079. The space colonies of Side 3, declaring themselves the Duchy of Xeon, launched a war of independence against the Federated Union of Earth. At the same time, the Xeon forces undertook Operation British, an attempt to drop a space colony onto Earth. Target, Jabrau Base, headquarters of Earth's Federal Forces in South America. However, after the colony entered the atmosphere, it was destroyed over the Arabian Peninsula. The largest remaining piece of the colony hurtled toward Earth and struck Sydney, Australia, instantly transforming the city into a huge gulf. The Duchy of Xeon, based on space colonies, didn't have the raw materials needed to fight an extended war. With the failure of Operation British, a war was now inevitable, so they embarked on a plan to land on the Earth to secure the materials it needed. With blitzkrieg speed, they seized two-thirds of the Earth's surface. Even Australia, which bore the worst scar of the Operation British disaster, fell under Xeon attack for its natural resources. The Federal Forces Division in Australia, already badly battered by the disaster, could do nothing to repel them. It's been 11 months since the war began. The Earth's Federal Forces counteroffensive in Europe, Operation Odessa, has been a total success. Across the Earth's surface, the military balance is swinging heavily to the Federal Forces' side. And across the globe, one counteroffensive after another has been successfully launched. And in Australia, which took the brunt of Operation British's damage, a counterattack against the Xeon Forces has just begun to unfold as well. Like Jingos, you have an emergency mission. As I'm sure you know, the revised counterattack plan against the Xeon forces we've decided on consists of a simultaneous attack on the Darwin region in the north, the city of Adelaide in the south, and Alice Springs in the central region. The invasion of Alice Springs in the central region is what we're calling the signal to begin the operation. Our aim is to not only cut the enemy's rail lines, but to also deliver a decisive blow and weaken the strength of all their forces around the world. Currently, our primary corps, better known as Red Possum, is doing its utmost to engage them. However, a problem has recently cropped up in Rain Rainbow Valley. Our reconnaissance forces have confirmed that the enemy's defense line has more anti-air and ground emplacements than we had first anticipated. Unfortunately, it looks like the enemy somehow found out how we'd begin our counterattack. For the rest of the operation to work, we must avoid exhausting all of Red Possum's strength here. 
However, their advance mustn't be slowed either. That's why we're going to insert you white dingoes into Rainbow Valley by air. Your presence is essential if we're going to stand a fighting chance against these fearless marauders. Your top priority is to neutralize those enemy ground and anti-air emplacements. Make sure Red Possum's advance is swift and successful. Due to the mission's timing, a tank battalion headed toward the front will arrive in the battle zone during your mission. We've been waiting for this opportunity for too long now. The future of the Federation is in your hands. You people are the best ones for this job. I expect to see you complete it quickly and decisively. We're about to move, move out. Get a final. Before we do, let's get a final, final confirmation on our mission code, code, code. Names for everyone. Lieutenant Ted Rayer, the mobile suit you're in is designated Fang 1. Leon's unit is Fang 2. Mike's unit is Fang 3. My hover truck has been designated as Oasis. Please remember that. Fang 2, Leon, roger that. Fang 3, Mike here, roger. So, then, yeah, Anita's code name is gonna be Oasis. Kinda ironic, isn't it? Hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Hey, just, just kidding. It's a very appropriate name for our dear, dear Anita. The lovely flower of the battlefield. Hmm. You better watch your back out on that battlefield. Uh, I'm so scared. Would you guys please knock it off with all that chatter? Lieutenant, can't you say something to them? White Jingos, you have an emergency mission. The invasion of Alice Spring. Hey there, Lieutenant Red Red Rayer. It's almost time, time, time to go. I'm here trying to get the mobile suit ready to move out for the operation. So if you got any suggestions, just let me know, all right? Here it is, the RGM-79GM. This is the Federal Force's first mass production mobile... So you're taking this one. of this thing is the blast effect this the main appeal of this thing is the blast effect and explosive damage it inflicts with the direct hit this tell you take 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 okay how about a shield when involved in a ground battle the standard issue federal forces shield when involved in a ground battle go with a small shield it's not so you really take Lieutenant Rayer. Is this the unit and the equipment you want? It, 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 it. Fingers crossed for you.
I'm not picking up any large-scale movement in the enemy area. It seems like we may have caught them off guard. Immediately shower. Remnants of the Maybe they're the souls of all those that were killed in the drop, drawn back by the Earth's gravity. Wow, what an incredible sight to behold. Mike, you sound like a poet. Don't make fun of what I said. I'm totally serious. This land here is charged with a power of hatred for the disease on. I can feel it in my bones, too. Power from the dead, is that what you're talking about? You mean the Zeon woke up a sleeping lion, don't you? Except we're dingoes, not lions. Dingoes are dogs. Don't you remember? Lieutenant, let's get started, immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll show those Zeeks just how much power I got. Bang three. Enthusiasm's good, good but don't let it get in the way of teamwork. Waiting for your instructions. This is Oasis. Lieutenant, let's start off right by taking out those annoying anti